You are now listening to Out of the Blank. Welcome to another episode of Out of the Blank Podcast. I'm here with Jose. Yes, sir. And Wade. And then somebody new, Tyler. How's it going, man? So I actually have met you before doing um, the Jet Evader. Uh, and I actually know you through Josiah and everything, but it was funny because Jose's like, I'm going to bring someone new over. And I was like, who's this person? He's like, Tyler. He's not giving me a last name. I'm like, can you, you know, be a little bit more <laughs> specific? And he's like, uh, yeah, Tyler Van Sykes. And I was like, oh, I think I know this kid. I've flown him before. And it turns out, Jose, we've actually met before. Yeah. We lied to the people world, out man. there. I, I, I couldn't remember. So how do you guys all know each other? I, um... Probably just my attitude of just showing up at people's houses and stuff. I don't tend to do that. Yeah, yeah we were like today like, for instance. we were like two separate friend groups, and then we kind of just like yeah, it, yeah. Like, That's all like, I could really say is the result of a nursing kind yeah. of friend group. Because like at first, like me and Wade were friends, right? And then I met yeah. Tyler in high school through wrestling, and me, him, and a couple other friends made like a friend group, and then eventually I was like, oh hey, you guys are friends with these friends. Why not we all hang out? And then we all hung out and... Was it New Year's that we all kind of just... I'm pretty sure, yeah. Halloween. Yeah. It was, it was like a Halloween or a New Year's yeah. or something and we were all just like, oh, let's get together. And we did. If anybody can make anybody really feel lazy or feel like they're not doing anything with their life, it's Tyler because all the shit he does. Because he does insane stuff. I know you do like bull ride and you do all these types of stuff because you do the same thing as Josiah. And I, oh. I talked to Josiah, like, he does the Frontier Town stuff you, mm-hmm. like you do. I'm like, how do you have time to do all that shit, man? Seriously. Um, I actually recently opened up a lot of time. I uh, threw a couch into my van and started living out of my van. And come this September, I've lived in my van for about a year. And I've been uh, camping on top of the mountains Dude. in Tennessee and Gatlinburg. Are you just trying to travel the world? Are you just trying to experience as much as you can? Um, I mean, that's like kind of what the stereotypical van life, like you see on Instagram. or the All I know pictures. is Chris Farley shopping at people. You're going to live in a van down by the river. Oh, dude, you know how many times I fucking heard, hear that at work. And, damn. <laughs> it's all good. I fucking joke with them and shit. We often... Uh, so, yeah, go over to my place real quick. <laughs> well, there's an <laughs> NFL there. superstar that actually just, like, he's former NFL superstar, but he has a dog. He just travels around in this bus that he, like, customized out, sold every all his possessions, just travels around the country with his dog. I'm Sounds like, like he just became a superstar. Yeah, like, to be honest, like, that's what you're doing is, is pretty cool. I mean, that's all we talk about doing, like, just getting away from, like, technology and everything. I mean, I mean it's the same, it's just the same person in different environments. Like, I think one of the biggest things that I... I mean, it, don't get me wrong. It's cool. It's great. I have lots of free time, lots of extra money I spend on other shit. Um, but, like, a big wake-up thing was, like, it's not that different. <laughs> like, it's, it's like, regular life. You're just living in a van, though. Yeah. But, I mean, you get to experience it. If you want to go somewhere, you can legit go somewhere. Like, just, I mean, we can too with our cars, but it's like. That's what, you see, you just answered your own question. A lot of uh, people that ask me about van life, they they start to think about, like, what they would do. And see, like, if you were just, you wanted to travel, you said, like, that sounds like a really good idea to go and see places. Like, you could do that right now. Like, nothing's, you don't have to go sell everything, go live in a van, just do it. You know, like, people ask me if. The van life, if you want to uh, call it that, or just camping out, camping lifestyle, is, it's just as hard as regular life. There's ups, there's downs, there's still dishes. There's, there's trying to find a place to take a shit. Yeah, like, it's, it, I mean, you're kind of trying to find a place to shit in Ocean City when you're on vacation. Like, it, it's the same, you're dealing with the same problems, the same hurdles. It's, like, do what you want is, I feel like, the real bottom line is sitting down and figuring out what you want to do. It's yeah. it's kind of crazy because exactly what you're saying and your point exactly just the whole we're all willing to say like oh that'd be awesome to go do that I wish I could go do that and it's like we literally can we just don't yeah and what like it it seems difficult because people like have a bunch of other bullshit that is not is they don't want to do it but they're doing it anyway 
And this doesn't make sense when you say it out loud because it doesn't. It doesn't make sense. But people, like, as far as, like, money spent on, like, going out to eat all the time and, like, convenience. Like, convenience is huge. People spend so much money to have, like, a soda or they'll go to a gas station just to grab a drink. That's like bottled and ready, and it's like three fucking dollars for a Coca Cola. You want to know like, that? You want to know the, my struggle? I had to so, buy. I spent seven bucks on a twelve pack of the Diet Coke uh, vanilla with the orange in it. Right. Tasted like shit, dude. I yeah. was so pissed. I spent seven dollars on it, but I'm like, I'm fine with my cream sodas for two bucks. But yeah. like what you're talking about, we're so willing to take advantage and have all these like needs and stuff. Like yeah. at the same time, how do you find yeah. food? First of all, are you just stopping at every fast food place trying mm-hmm. to budget your money as well? as possible or are you kind of set already with money like what where, where do you like go, where, where do you go to get food man i have go out to the grocery store and get food but yeah, I'm, grocery I'm, store. yeah but certain things like using a stove and cooking <laughs> yeah. in an oven it's kind of like how are you doing well, how, that? how would you like what like what do you eat what, what do you what's your diet man what do you eat like cabbage uh lettuce it's basically oh. just salads with grilled chicken and stuff of that sort so like how would you do it like if you wanted to live in a van right and you, you're eating chicken salad all the time. Like, you got chicken on your lettuce and stuff. Is that what you eat? Yeah. Like it, it, I like that, too. It's cool. It's cool. No judging. But, uh... Well, I mean, I like eat meat, rice. too. It's yeah. just... He likes rice. Yeah. Well, you how like would you rice? do that? That's what I'm in question. What, with rice? Well, no, like... I what, don't know how to use how the fucking stove. How would you make stove, chicken so salad? It's, like, yeah. it's hard. How do you... You have a stove at your house. Yeah, but I never learned how to do it. I also don't have time to fucking choose, either. What? Because everything relied on to my brother to teach me things, and he was four years older than me, and he didn't want anything to do with me. So it was like, right. I'm going out, and I'm like, but someone's got to stay and watch me. Uh, it's too fucking bad, right. and it's just me. My parents worked two jobs, so I grew up kind of self-sustaining and trying to find, like, Xbox as an outlet to hang, hang out with my friends or going over to my friends' places and trying to communicate. And then right. I ended up becoming a severe introvert. And right. getting into the gym where I've been going every day for almost seven years now. Yeah. Like, you get, you, 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 people find their outlets and they get stuck in these routines. And it's like, the whole option is why I'm really interested in how you're living in a van. And I'm, I'm really asking you questions that you're kind of giving me like the, it seems like the same answer you give a lot of people. Like, you're probably tired of getting asked the same questions. Well, it's not like, I guess if you like, you're detecting something that like, I've said it a lot. It's like. It's, we're going about it the wrong way as far as, like, conversating, like, where I can't tell you how to live in a van because how I live is not going to be how you're going to live. Yeah. I'll give you, here, I got a bunch of examples that actually, like, freed me, if you want to call it that, of just, like, just conversations I've had. Like, usually, like, I could narrow it down to, like, one sentence from each person that, like, kind of drove me to say, like, you know what, I don't need to be paying someone rent. That I'm never gonna get that money invested into me any other way. I'm gonna live in my van. Conversation. I'm walking into work, right? And uh, I work at Dolly Parton Stampede. It's actually a dinner theater. Ride horses, jump off of them, fire jumps, roaming riding, trick riding. Pretty cool place in Pigeon Forge. It's kind of like Ocean City in a sense, where it's a tourist town, three lanes. You kind of get in the rhythm of things. Like, where, like, you know where it's going to be heavy, heavy traffic at this time, but then, like, you can make it through, like, on this time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, where was I going with this? Come on. You're going into here. work. You're going into oh, work. Oh, Hannah right Lay. That's what her name is. Um, she's asking, she's like, hey, is, is this is van life hard? And it's as hard as regular life. And that's what we were talking about earlier. Yeah. It's, like, the same shit. Um, you're just changing your where you're at. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it's almost figuring out how to function within your own specialized yeah. environment. I so, mean, someone asked like, specified. do you like this guy Tyler? Same name as me. He's asking another buddy of mine who's already living in his van. It's like, hey man, don't you miss a couch? And like, it's funny because I have a couch now in my van. Because like, dude, like, what if that's what you needed? Like, I feel like I've got two speeds. Either I'm fucking running or I'm like chilling. You know, mm-hmm. and like I needed that. I needed the couch. You know, like. Mm-hmm. And it's cool. Some nights, yeah. like I'll, I'll call him or he'll call me at like ten thirty at night or something like that. And we'll talk for a little while. I'll be in bed just chilling, but he's like sitting in his car, like grilling up some food that night. Yeah. He's about to go to the gym. And so that's just over a cliff. Stuff like that. How you got Someone grill? Out they got propane stove. You know what I mean? Like, there's tools out there. You just got to figure out like 
which ones you need. Yeah, what like, you want. Which is the bottom question. So you have like a mo- like an RV type thing, or what do you have? I got a minivan, nothing special. You sure. don't need like some fancy Sprinter van you see on Instagram. Yeah. Like the another not, idea not I guess would be maybe minimalism. Maybe a Jedi on the side, you know. With the, you, see, you see the nerd vans, the classic nerd vans, the couches in like the Scooby Doo type mystery machine style vans. That's where I'm living. But they have the fucking painted unicorn and like <laughs> fucking He Man on top of it. Like oh. I'd like to get the Rebel. From Star Wars, the Star Wars Rebel insignia, like the red, I'd like to get that on the side of my next van, which I'm like picking up here, with the money I saved from living in a van. <laughs> you kind of just have to start. <laughs> like you can't, like you have to like commit. Like if you wanted to, like live in a van per se, and while we're on this topic, like you'd have to focus it all on to like what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? The whole minimalist idea, like you what you need live off the bare necessities not any extra yeah. luxuries basically well like you can, if you need the, like the social outlet if you need because you need to relax you need to rest that's part of your like week you know yeah um and you just figure out what you need now are you traveling anywhere when you do this stuff like i'm, I'm usually just i like it's that's what makes me probably different from a lot of van life people that like i'm working um just about six days a week so you so don't like, go anywhere I'm special. Just right here. But like it's a tourist tourist area. Like I have the Smoky Mountain National Park that I can like camp out and go hiking. I think Hills, when you first said away. it, I was thinking more of like you're traveling like all around the country in a van kind yeah. of going that. I mean, that's that'd be something cool I would think I would like to do. Yeah. Eventually one day, like if I was set and just felt like I needed to take time. But I feel like with stuff that I'm trying to do, I think my main thing what is... What are you trying to do? Huh? What are you trying to do? Honestly, just kind of get, like, and try podcast as many people as possible. It's the whole aspect, like, you're... For I'm, what? It's my own experience. For anybody out there that wants to listen, if, it, if someone just wants to listen to this and right. hear a sense of, like, some, Jose's got a story. He's telling me right. he wants to start a burrito bar as his, like, that's his dream or whatever. You know, Wade's telling me a story how he wants to learn to deal with, what was it, um, biology, microbiology? Like agricultural. Yeah, biology. agricultural biology right. with, like, the, the whole plant thing because he's so used to using animals and livestock. Right. Like... I, I mean, I'm, I'm hitting the basis here, but it's like they, they give out good advice, good stories. I had a woman on my podcast that I've worked with for three years at a hotel. She used to be a professional women's champion arm wrestler. I'm like, what? And it's like, you, that's Was she some, like off? Was she like one arm really bigger than the other arm? <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I thought but she literally her routine was her routine was she would work out one side of her body when she went to the gym when she was training and she said she stopped um, I think it was like close to right after she won the championship it was a couple matches after in Virginia she snapped a woman's arm and uh, she she cannot even go back to grabbing somebody else's hand to get an arm wrestling. She's just like again. traumatized. It's like yeah, it's like she's afraid she's gonna do that again because she saw the pain on that woman's face and was like, that's enough. But people get so honest. So on that it. worked for her. She worked out only one side of her body. Apparently so. Yeah. I mean, she was a champion, so that's pretty. That's like I've seen the trophies. I've experienced like I've been to her house and seen the trophies. I was like, word Hulk. but like that's <laughs> something you say. You hear that and you're like. What, what, what would you get you started that and then people start sharing these experiences like mm-hmm. you know everyone usually says when they do my podcast they had a great time it wasn't like they expected because everyone thinks it's like a lined up interview right. it's a conversation whether you know me or not I mean I'm right. pretty easy to get along with obviously I, I'm gonna like I'm gonna say something if there's something like I don't really agree with but we can, yeah it's it doesn't make it an argument it makes a podcast a podcast like we're having a conversation <laughs> and mm-hmm. Where obviously everybody's not going to agree in the world, but like the whole idea is like I wish I could do this every day and have this as my life, just constantly without having to worry about a single bill or any th- payment in the world. But there's not a like, there's not something I can do for that. Like, but the main so reason. So what is, else are you doing? Are you doing anything else? What do you mean? Like, I mean, I work at a hotel, but that's my day job. But right. that's it's not something I truly enjoy. Like this is I think going to be my passion because I thought it was working out, and then now it's this. And the whole idea is someone that has the same exact recorder as me has been on like Joe Rogan and all these people I've been listening to when I do podcasts, like when I'm listening to podcasts. He takes his mobile recorder. He went to Australia, was reading a book about this guy that bla- that changed his uh, genetic biome in his body, which is like you blast water or 
insert some type of like water from a certain area. So he did it from Africa to get that like by like that genetic makeup. So whatever those uh, African people drink, like that water there, that shitty water compared to here, like that dirt mud filled water, all the diseases, all the chemicals and the bacteria that are in that, he's changing his microbiome by drinking that. So what he did was he blasted it straight up his ass to get the effect better. And he wrote a fucking book about it. And then the guy, Christopher Ryan's reading the fucking book. He's a psychologist. And he's like, why would this dude do this? He's sitting in a bar in Australia and he starts, he gets drunk and starts talking about the fucking book. Uh, and the guy beside him goes, that's my buddy. He goes, what do you mean that's your buddy? He goes, he's right over there. He met the guy six months of the book he was been reading in Australia randomly. And they podcasted with the recorder, the same one I have. I'm like, I want that experience. So many times there's coincidences like me knowing you and you just already meeting you before the podcast where I thought I only met him on my podcast or yeah. from Marshalls. It's like uh -huh. the world is pretty fucking small. Yeah. And it's like the fact that we're all here and we're all able to live on it. It's like it just it it really blows my mind how everyone can have different interests. Bro, and what different if we passions. were all the same person having a conversation with ourselves? Here, like a Should multi. That's the, no, that's that's yeah, actually a like, real theory. Too. Like, well, like the if you just want to like theory. throw some cool ideas, like the idea of like a collective conscious or like, boom, Athena comes out of Zeus's head in mid battle and like. <clears throat> like appears like this another entity from someone else's brain yeah and like so we're all just the same person <laughs> but we might we not might not completely understand one another but then the whole like um you find that commonality in that conversation that i guess you're looking dude. for and you okay. realize dude we're all saying the same shit but we're all just screaming it at one another you know what i'm saying if you are right, this is this is something i'm gonna dive deep into because there's actually um multiple philosophy theories based on possible world outcomes have you ever heard world of outcomes out of what what's your income like what's your okay so there's to, to explain this there's multiple different philosophies that talk about alternate worlds and alternate realities okay so much like there's a frequency Wade, you're about to lose your shit, dude. You're on. You're I going. have, I have, I think I have figured out life to a way that is scientific enough to leave me satiated. But I want to hear your idea. I'm about to fuck you up. Okay, hang on. Mm -hmm. So the the whole idea that uh, see this that lamp right there, it's shooting off a frequency, much like a walkie-talkie. Okay, so this is the theory that much like a walkie-talkie, it's shooting off. It's on a frequency that we can't see. There's an electric current that you can't see. It's connecting. Same thing with your cell phone when it transmits something into the thing. Right. There are people out in this world that talk about they can see colors and shit like that. Like have like this weird perceptive thing. Mm -hmm. They have. They're on that frequency. So there's actually people that can see the electrical frequency from the light connecting to something else the wiring outlets and being able to see that yeah. but they can't explain it and we can't see it because we can't perceive it on that realm yeah. now this brings me to talk about where the paranormal comes in where people talk about they, they feature like <laughs> see ghosts and shit and they talk about it's like seeing through the veil or some type like psychic type shit it's like how is that bullshit or how can you say it's bullshit just because you can't read that frequency you feel what <laughs> I'm saying here mm -hmm. it's like imagine you're on channel one and the person beside you is being able to see electric currents or some shit like that uh -huh. is on channel four or something. They're <clears> on a whole nother frequency and you're going to sit there and say to that person that it's bullshit because you don't, you're not believing it because you can't see it yourself. Well, what's, uh, what's, I guess, what people have a hard time with is like, what's the practical, like, why do I need to know that people can see the electric current? I'm well aware that it's not just physically there like there's a lot of shit going on the whole pattern of the lamp itself and like it's it's not just earth blank space and then like the space is up there like it's air like air is something you know what i mean like well i actually like, there's all it's just stuff on, like there's no empty space yeah you know mm -hmm. that's i guess that's why they call space space is because there is nothing there and it's black but none of that makes sense anyway. <laughs> well, there's also, like, much like a black hole, there's a white hole. You know about that? It, scientists found out there's a thing called a white hole, which is the exact same thing as a black hole, but it's all white. Much like if you see a cartoon and they rip the whole color off the back, just a white screen, the cartoon's like, where the hell am I? Mm -hmm. That's that's real. That's the same thing as a black hole. But if you, like, okay, so this goes to another theory that well, I do. it got to be black, though? <laughs> yeah. Look, look. No, what I'm saying is, I could be, it could be, 
Like, it's supposed to be the nothingness of the void. Be, well, no, it's technically yeah. that. Well, so the black holes they actually are, I think have the capability to <laughs> like absorb all the light in them. That's why they're actually like no absorbed. light can survive it. Is what yeah. the whole thing is. So like it, you know, they pull. It's like a ultra, um, you know, concentrated. This is a vacuum. Anybody that has an this that actually has density. information on this is going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, anyway, it's a, a black hole. You know, it about. has infinite de- uh, that's density that's because what? The we just shoot the in shit. theory, a black hole. You know, from what I've learned, what's the definition? Is of black hole? well, scientifically speaking, I, is it's a, I can get my a, in here a drop in space time. Right. So, like, if you space time is perceived in a grid, so you know when you have space time. Um, you'll, I watch Rick and Morty too. Well, uh, I know, but on this grid, you know, you would have a square, and in that square, of, you know, you're the cell. All right, grid. I brought up backup. Okay, so me and him have podcasted on the same talks, and he can help clear it up where I'm fucking falling short on. We're talking about you were talking about what alternate universes and shit, right? Is that what you were <clears> trying <throat> to get to the basis of? I think. Like, in a gist, if you take it to the extreme, yes. It, like, it was a lot of jumble of words there, but there's, like, a whole another world, even in, like, what he's seeing right now, and, like, his idea of, like, what's going on, and, like, I was just kind of going off of what you were saying, that conversation we were talking about, but what if entertain the idea we are all the same person having a conversation with ourselves? And I'm like, I'm the thing that trust me out, we could talk about all the Rick and Morty shit you want, but like, I was a very talkative person. I went to Tennessee and there's just a whole nother thing and I was, I'm down with people watching, so <coughs> being in a whole nother area and really just sitting back and like, listening to people, I'm like, dude, I was just thinking that. Like, you know, people saying stuff and like, really, what's funny, like what's the guy that says the joke, it's like what everyone was thinking about, he just was first on to say it out loud. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, everyone's seeing the same shit that are in that area, you know, and I think proximity is huge. I think like, like, how do you communicate with anything or how do you see anything happen as you put something in front of it, you know, like you, you change the scenario by putting something in front of it, that proximity, like putting something in front of it, what do you do about it? You know, you call it a hurdle, call it like something that could convince you to go a different way, you know, of what you might have originally intended. That was another idea. I'm trying to really fucking decipher that one. So, just another idea. So kind of like a... The whole same thing that like we're all the same person well on that level it might not be true if you were somewhere else but the fact that we're all here sitting here together we're all like just by being close on that same level. we're all seeing the same shit right so I mean, you're you can saying say that, all in the you same can say that your blue is not my blue so you're saying reality is technically a point of relativity yeah point of like re- where, where you fucking are right now well, I tend mm-hmm. to actually think that, like, I really think it's a cool idea. Uh, I tend to think that we all are just one being experiencing, like, this illusionary difference idea. And, like, maybe not necessarily the same person, but, like, on a universal scale. Mm-hmm. I remember one of my friends had this trip where, like, he, like, pictured himself, like, coming out of this glove effect. And he was essentially saying, like, you know, like, Everyone, like, are, like, these little finger puppets, and the actual hand is just, it's just one hand, you know? Uh. But it's, like, all these different... So it's kind of like, it's, like, one soul is just, like, a whole bunch of different beings with one Yeah, so, like, I, yeah. (laughs) So look at it, like, it's it's almost like a dream, a God dream sort of Mm -hmm. a thing, you know, like, God, universe, whatever. Um, Like, just a sheer existence. Higher power is what you're saying. If you want to call it that, I just think, like... Well, it's an idea. The idea that there is a higher power, whatever, whose hand was that that pulled out all of those people? Well, that's just like one collective thing. It's not like a higher power thing. Right, right. right. Mm -hmm. Well, are you more powerful than the giant glowing hand coming out of your ass? We all are that one giant glowing hand. But, like, the whole factor is we all, with religion, it's like kind of like my big thing with religion. The fact that Christians could be so diehard for religion just because it's not, I don't blame them for it. They're diehard for religion? Die hard for religion. Like, they would 
do anything for God. That whole you, you've never met someone like that before because I can tell you, no, but I've met a few mean. people that literally, if you don't think but like they think do, you're a piece of scum, and they will make fun of you and try and twist your views. The whole idea of who are those people that come and knock on houses? Jehovah's Witnesses. Jehovah's Witnesses. Like they look at you bad if you don't accept their God and their belief. I'm not for that 100% at all. I believe you can believe. We all need a belief out there. I like to fucking think Bigfoot's real. I want to think that. I want. I wish he is out there. Just to, the whole factor of belief. We all need something either to put our lives in like faith or a belief of a higher power because it brings us a sense of comfortability or it's like a warm hug on the inside. This is for some of us. This is not for all of us. Right. It's the same thing with atheism. Like those people that don't have anything. I'm a minister under the United Church of Bacon. Now I say that to you, you go, that sounds like a load of bullshit. I went uh, to the Maryland Courthouse and I got it signed by Maryland Courthouse where I can officially marry people for one reason. That whole United Church of Bacon, the whole meaning behind the religious aspect of it was they don't worship bacon. They just did that so atheists can stop being uh, like yelled at by Christians. Christian people attacking all these riots that have happened because people are on strike saying, you don't believe in God, you're going to hell, and condemning them. Right. They just don't know what to believe in. It's not saying that they're not open to my... Like, I'm open-minded to everything. But the whole idea is, like, there that you can be so set in your ways that you can push down your negative uh, thought of how they are living their life and try and change them. You shouldn't have to, as a person, you shouldn't try and change anybody. I think we could all agree that. Right. Someone does not have your same point of view or have your same conclusion as you do about life. Right. You shouldn't try and force yourself or force them to change into your way or how you th see things. Don't tell me what I shouldn't do. Exactly. <laughs> it's that what whole if it was aspect. your idea that you were supposed to tell people what to do right so many people are like that have you ever seen um the jehovah's witnesses they do mm -hmm. uh, uh they try acid for the first time and then they're having so much fun they're like who would not want to do this and then towards the end of the video they're asked one question and it completely shoots them off guard after listening to techno music and he thinks he's literally he explains the music as being in an egyptian pyramid back in ancient egypt um, with lasers getting fired down, he's on acid, obviously, right, but yeah. he, with lasers fired down the hall, he's like, he's never experienced anything like this, and he's a Jehovah's Witness that's been never even drank a beer, he said. Right. So he goes, and they ask him about God, and it completely catches him off guard, and he's like, what is God? Why, why do I have to live this life? And he questions everything. Right. But that's because he was raised and like born and influenced, like imprinted right. from when he was a child from so his what did parents. He, say? Why, why did he was he like, I don't that? understand why I'm doing this anymore. And then like that, that was just the whole conclusion. Hey. I'm surprised he didn't think he was God. <coughs> being a, well, he was like, is this God? And they're like, what do you mean? He goes, this, 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 this life. Like, is this yeah. just like something? That's it's what like, I look at. This is, this is God. Like, this is. You know, it, this is just a deeper, longer dream. Like, but I, what I always go to, who's to say God's not uh, some guy on Mars jerking off with VR headset on and socks with Crocs on? Like, who, who's right. to stop that from being a reality, you know? It's the whole idea. The United Church of Bacon is to protect atheists. Then there's right. Pastafarianism, where they, they worship... What are they doing to protect the atheists? Well, I mean, besides raising millions of dollars for AIDS research and cancer research, they basically give you, like, it's a, it's a, it's a safeguard. It's like if you're atheist and you don't you're not you don't want to believe in anything and you don't know what's out there, yeah. go into the Church of Bacon. They don't have a deity. They don't have any type right. of being. What would, that, what would the difference between that and just like? Not, so well, what I think like part of it. You know what I mean? Is, like why don't like yeah. let's, why don't I just kind of do my own thing? So I feel that yeah. atheists kind of come about because they have a, a problem actually holding a grip as to what like a higher power would be i think that's kind of where that comes in because i'm in my personal experience i'm not saying with all atheists but i've noticed that you know they're more inclined to be pessimistic have less outlook but they all common <coughs> commonly believe in a transfer of energy like they believe that they just break down well, but so I, spiritualists believe that the world is surrounded by energy like there's everything has a life force like earth Fire, they, like the Avatar The Last Airbender, there's people right. out there like that. Me and Corey have met someone, you know, Miss Cheryl at Works. You met someone that did Fireman? 
No, not that can fire. No, but she's I, a right. spiritualist. Like she goes onto the beach and just chants. Like there's people out there that believe in the energy of a the the world is one giant energy. There is no god, but there is these forces. Like nature has a spirit, water has a spirit. There's animal spirits from Native American stuff like that. There's all these different types of religions that it, it's like like where I don't judge any religion. Whatever you want to believe well, in, we all have. <laughs> A we all have something that interests us. Uh, we all have a passion. We all have something we're interested in. What interests you about religion? What's your religion? I choose to worship Pastafarianism, you know? Like, the whole idea of a giant spaghetti monster that where when you die, you, you go either to the beer volcano in the sky that's filled with strippers and all that shit. That's wonderful. And you get to worship a giant spaghetti monster. And it's followed by fucking 750-something thousand people. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, you hear that, you're like, there's no fucking way there's that many people that believe in this. And then you start hearing it. The whole reason it was created was to highlight the aspect of trying to teach Christianity in schools and follow a restrict guidelines on the history of Christianity and not focus on other types of religions and be open to all interpretations of religion and education systems is completely fucking ridiculous. Hearing that, I'm like, this religion sounds a lot deeper than I thought it was just the giant spaghetti monster where they have Ramadan. Like, not Ramadan, Ramadan. And then they, <laughs> like, there's instead Do you think of, there's a co like a correlation between, like, the names? <laughs> that's the point yeah. but like instead of instead of Passover it's passed over like and their commandments oh. their commandments are better than the Christian commandments in my opinion the first one is don't spend any money on me treat yourself to as much spaghetti feast as you want like it's all a fucking joke but the whole idea is this kid started so what, uh, what, making a what are the parody. ten commandments do you not like I just don't like where it's like, you know, thou shall not, you know, just like, thou shall not what? it's like when it's, when you start commanding me with authority and shit, I just can't handle Actually, it. Actually, I have a problem with thou shall not kill. Yeah, you want to kill somebody? No, I mean, but I, I, don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to hit the moral dilemma when I know that it's morally right to kill somebody because mm -hmm. I see their self-defense or it's a just kill. You know what I'm saying? Just so, okay, just oh, 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 oh. let me answer this one. What? A just kill would be the guy um, that got shot in the head in the airport in front of all those cops because he raped uh, this one dude's kid and he was getting off for it. Right. Really? Okay? How's when he, when he, he got away with it. There was no one else that testified. Shit. Everyone was afraid to do it. Like, same thing with Sandusky where all these people fucking knew and no one came out so about it because it was Sandusky. The, shot the, dude in the, head? the cops threw him on the ground. In front of the cameras, because it was on live right. television, you can look it up, right. threw him on the ground, and then you know as soon as, he didn't get sentenced or anything, he didn't go to jail, he didn't do anything like that. Because I guarantee you, when those cops threw that guy to the ground and they picked him back up, when they got away from the cameras, he said, good fucking job in that dude's ear. Because if that was your, if you were a cop and you just so watched. So nothing, nothing, nothing happened to him? He didn't get arrested? No, he didn't, I mean, he that got arrested, like, but he didn't like get. a good day to me. Just but that's what I'm saying. saying. See, that's, you, you're yeah, at, you just saying, literally... That's, a just, you, just, that's a just kill. You just asked what's a just kill. That's a fucking just kill. I think just you know, like your morally kid relevant. And you shoot him in the so fucking like, head. To a society. So the idea of a just kill... like it, it's, it's, like, more, it's, it's morally more relevant like, to a society. It's okay that I can kill him. Like you Hitler, know what I've like noticed Hitler, in okay? all of this, though? It's and like, it's okay to kill Hitler. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just because he was killing millions of people. Because he killed other people. And right. This, and this dude... And you're like, he, and this fucker. Okay. And ra rape is, I would say, just as bad as killing. Um, yeah, Bill Cosby. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. we don't need to talk about that too crazy. Right, right, right. right. Um, but, like, he had done something, and he needed to... Yeah, like, like movies let us like pay. movies so, let us feel that sometimes we're like fucking deserve that shit. Yeah. You know, got the headshot or whatever that, it is. Yeah. Blow up. You ever seen Law Abiding Citizen? Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah it's like, like, oh, oh, yeah, totally, oh, totally. <coughs> well, the whole aspect like sometimes <coughs> there's a really shitty person that does a really shitty thing and you see it, and then he has really good attorneys or lawyers that get him off on something, and then you're like, that's not fucking right that he got away with that. Well, he got shot in the head. I'm not talking about that guy. I'm talking about there's people out there. Are you, you, you hear? Yeah, so just yeah. Um, people in general. Like the just people that get off, somebody and nothing with money happens could to fucking them. Yeah. But also, and not have there are pieces of shit out there that get away with stuff. Like I mean, it happens all the time. Like I don't, it, I don't, I don't think anyone gets away with anything. I feel like eventually. I, I mean, eventually, yeah. If you want to leave, leave, and karma it catches up to you. But I'm saying with the court system. 
with certain cases, there are people that have enough money or have a really good lawyer and fights their case and they get off. And you're like, that person got fucking off? You, th- you don't think anyone gets away with anything? No. What about, like, fucking... Uh, what, I don't understand. I don't understand that statement. Yeah, well, I'm I feel like it's it pretty too. consistent with, like, a lot of just energy, like... Um, like, you can't take more out than what was already put in. Like okay, it, it doesn't it's an make, equal exchange. It doesn't make sense. Like, I, I feel like in our universe, like, the laws, if you, like, just, like, look at laws of physics in the sense of, like, what happens when this happens, time. this, like, uh, the talk. rules, per se. <laughs> like, if you were to jump off the house, you would fall down, you know, and you could go on and on Speak about, like, like why yeah. that happens, yeah. you know, as far as, like, gravity being, like, uh, a good example is like when they put a weight in a trampoline and it's got this pool and like the like you can put balls and coins like around and it'll like go around and it's drawn towards bigger mass. So like if you put like things on the trampoline and pull down more, more things would get drawn to it faster, quicker. Like as far as like the rules on how things work, like that's what I was saying. That's gravity. We're talking about can someone get away with something, you know? Like, if you were to put that evil act, like, it's got, it's, it's more than just, like, a little thing, because it would just, you just get a little thing back at you, you know? But, like, you rape someone, like, I, something's going to come around. It's just, All right, yeah, I it makes that. sense you guys with everything else. So, if, so, I mean, I see what you're saying. Like, once you become a convicted rapist and people know that yeah. you're a sack of shit, then you're going to hold that stigma and become a sense of pariah. I mean, I, I think I, I understand I think slightly. More talking about I like don't the... think that all punishment is just. Like, I, I believe that ultimately, no matter what is going on, the energy that runs the universe always stay balanced. That's the real key to every yeah. religion. Right. Is Which sounds to like better. that's what you're saying. There's a, like, it's going to balance back. Like, ex- if you put yeah. in bad, you're going to get the good. Well, the good the bad. I, I need to, like, some more better. time, like, personally on this, like, topic. For just to, like, come up with a good... A good yeah. I, yeah, like, I'm trying to find a good yeah, example. Yeah. But it doesn't make sense that, like, you can get away with... You can cheat. Because you can't cheat. Like, it, it, okay. like, I don't think you Dude, can. Really, Real quick, I'm like Jose to say something. Yeah, yeah me too. Me too. Yeah, what's up, man? No, well, I mean... You had fucking something to say earlier. I feel like, um... No. I feel you like someone could cheat? get away with something. I don't want to say it's like an energy thing. I want to say it's more kind of like an internal thing. I feel like eventually, as if you did something that you're not supposed to... You're gonna, it's gonna get to your head. Well, like, what about sociopaths? That's, sociopaths, well, that, that's, yeah. their, that's their thing. Well, there's like, a mental. There's also a mental thing there. You gotta take into account too. Yeah, because but if you're if mental, we're, if we're but on sociopaths the idea that are you slightly can't empty. Get away, they don't feel a sense of remorse because they only care for themselves. Yeah. But I mean, I believe you can get away with fucking anything because every there's so many people throughout history. You have I. I was seeing Genghis Khan for some reason, like rape and pillage and do as much as you want and you fucking get away with it he's and responsible die happy. for how much of like, the population right for, yeah. he's in like most how of our gen- like, every one in ten like, of like a ten of race is, yeah. cool. <laughs> is like is it part but, of his breed but it's like um, it, the point is is like there's plenty of pieces of shit who get who get off and get away with things and like you're who? like and they die happy and then there's the kids who die in the mud puddles of starvation and it's like we'd have to research how Genghis Khan how he like lived out his life and what happened there's plenty of research but like if yeah. He, yeah, yeah, we can say that. Guy. I'm saying like if he got <laughs> stabbed, if he got stabbed, if that's how he got ended or whatever. Well, like big deal. If it, he only got like twenty seconds of pain to accomplish his what he wanted to accomplish, which was just to be that what badass Mongol. What race is Genghis Khan? I thought that was Mongols, but I'm actually, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm mixing two I'm of them. There's like, Genghis Khan well, and no, there's okay. Attila, oh, Attila the Hun. Well, Attila the Hun. Yeah. Yeah. What he did was put he, all that on him. Genghis but Khan. What about his fucking right hand or... man? I'm talking like you can't like say like the president of the United States is completely in charge. Like there's a bunch of people that do all sorts of shit. Yeah. You know? If you like, believe Genghis... in the New World Order, it's the, the Illuminati and all that right. shit, all those right. different right. concepts. I'm fucking 100 percent open to that one too because that you can makes tell, some man, sense. You've been some drinking shit. great value all the time. <laughs> Damn right. I'm not all. This is like the That's cream hilarious. soda is fucking awesome. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Well, I'm, I'm talking about the Great Valley. They're controlling you, Walmart, dude. dude. They're all part of that one. Well, I bet they're all part of it. But you know what? If the it's Illuminati's making, if the Illuminati's making cream fucking soda, then god yeah, damn it! Uh, if you go with the plan, the plan usually treats you a little bit better. <laughs> 
No, but I mean... But no, what Jose was talking about, I really want to touch on this. <coughs> he was saying that's more of a mental thing. Now, there are certain cases exactly what you're saying, is that there's a force out there that could... You know, nobody gets away with anything. I see what you're talking about that. So, like... Bro, if- listen, listen, let me talk. Bruce Lee, um, I forgot if it was his sister or whoever, um, when they went to court... It was accused that the, Bruce Lee was killed by the triads, or his, I don't know if it was him or his son. Right. The reason why was the doctor that did the autopsy said that he died of a heart attack or died of something of this sort. When they looked at the actual body of his, like, his corpse and everything, right. his face was completely beat the fuck up and everything. And he was known for two nights before this, uh, his death, he was hanging out with the triad leader's, um, wife or girlfriend at the time and he was seen leaving her house late at night yeah he got beat the fuck out so so what happens is when it's triads so you're saying that bruce lee deserved to die because he he cheated on some dude well he died right yeah well he died well listen he rose again but what i'm saying is from the other aspect (laughs) when they went to court they paid his sister off to drop the lawsuit and drop everything. The reason why is after they the doctor chalked it up to a heart attack, a week later that doctor was hit by a train. Mm-hmm. How the fuck are you hit by a train a week after this shady shit's already going down? <coughs> now the whole idea is that he was killed, and then they actually go back and look dug up the autopsy reports because they just buried it away after that. Mm-hmm. The triad is like the it's like the go- you want to think about like the government doing some shady shit. That's the triads, okay? That's the example of that. I them. thought he died of food poisoning. No. What the fuck? Bruce I, I heard a story that he was on a movie set. Yeah, and he that's, got that's his son. That's pistol? his son, right? That's Is his that son Jet that got Lee shot. No, that's no, Jet, Jet Lee's still alive. Yeah, Jet Lee's not related. I thought Bruce didn't have food poisoning. No, he, no, he did not die from food poisoning. I thought he was just like, where are they? His son? Uh, no, his son was in a movie. Who's Jet Lee's dad? Why the fuck are we talking about Jet Lee? <laughs> he said Tyler. Tyler. What about Tyler? Listen, Tyler. Listen, listen, why are we talking about listen. Bruce All right, Bruce Lee. Okay, so his when when they went to court after everything with his death, the sister dropped the lawsuit and just took a uh, it was like a two million dollar plea or anything like that. But she said when he was when they were leaving the court case that you will get yours. And these the one of the, the some of the main triad people were in a I think it was like a, some they were leaving some drug thing and they got shot up. Now it wasn't anything gang related anything like that. It was just they got shot up um, in some bad d- drug deal that went down. That was not her, but she knew that in her mind that they were going to get their just desserts. That's why I'm saying I agree with you is that everything comes back around. Yeah. You commit an act, you're not getting off this earth scot-free. Right. But I do believe that, 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 that what you're saying works in certain scenarios and there are some pieces of shit scum, depending on if you believe in an afterlife or not, that do get away like what Corey was saying where they do die and nothing seems to happen on this plane. But who's to say there's not another plane right. out there where they, they might be suffering in hell. Yeah, maybe if... if karma's real then yeah i could see i could totally see everything coming back and like them getting theirs but just based upon like actual like life and how i've seen it you know it's like there's plenty of shitty people who like mm. are going to be just fine their entire lives i bet you guys didn't think this podcast would be you know what i mean and then there's mm-hmm. people I didn't know what get the, the fuck we were talking you know? about living in a van and we're in the middle yeah we were talking about living in a van and we got immediately down into alternate realities and universes but it's the whole aspect of you have thoughts on life, 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 I have thoughts on life, okay? We're all trying, we're all like, it's like the same thing where they talk about don't speak religion or don't speak um, politics at a table or something because it's something everybody's going to have an opinion on and never really get down to a certain agreement if they're against opposed views. And we're all Nobody, just one thing trying to find out. We're all, that's, that, that's the perfect thing though. We're all just one thing trying to figure out what the fuck life is. That's, we're all here trying to make it work together. You think it's going living in a van and living your life like that. I think it's podcasting. Jose thinks it's whatever. Jose thinks making a burrito bar. He's trying to figure shit out. He's doing the same thing. And Corey, you're doing the same kind of thing. It's like we're all trying to figure shit out. But isn't that fucking awesome about life? And doesn't that make the world fucking great? That we're mm-hmm. all our own doing our own shit, basically? Mm-hmm. That's where I only the only problem I have where you said that aren't we all just the same person? Like how do we think of the same thoughts or like that opinion? I'm like I think the difference <clears throat> is in what we're like the whole idea is like I had an idea to live in a van, you had an idea to mm-hmm. like make a burrito, to do a podcast and you're just kind of like manifesting what you think that is. Like a podcast, we're chilling in like a 
like an open room. We got some posters on the wall. We talked to a recorder that we're gonna post publicly for other people to listen to our conversation. That's like. And Somebody's idea. probably going to list like five minutes in and be like, okay, what the fuck is everyone talking about? We need Neil deGrasse Tyson in this bitch trying to explain the goddamn universe to everybody. Right. Well, that's like... What are you saying about manifesting? Like, like, you're not... I feel like it would help out if you're on like the... Entertain the idea that you're not just you. You are like what's around you. Right, because you you you're here, right? Like I chose to come and sit on this couch, right? And I like welcomed you guys into my world. Right? So like, futures? Are you talking about like the future being already determined? If if you're looking at us separately and not actually as you, because right now you could just be dreaming that this is all like you're believing that we're separate, but really I'm you talking to yourself right now. Mm-hmm. I I definitely entertain the idea that like. Every one of you motherfuckers is just something you. in my head. Yeah. Is, and, like, it's, if anything, I don't maybe believe it entirely, but it's an idea I like to entertain because I like to hold on to it is what it is. And, like... It is. I, I, and, like, you could make all the jokes about it, but, mm-hmm. it like, I, I think of it, like, I'm not going to get as mad quicker about, like, somebody fucking cutting me off or doing some dick move at work or like just like something that really might piss me off but it's like well I know that person I know that person's a lying sack of shit in my eyes like so why am I getting upset that he was a lying sack of shit when I know he's a lying sack of shit (laughs) you know and that's That's for sake of conversation to like dumb it down I just stereotype someone to being a sack of shit but really it could just be like this little thing you know not an overall look but just for sake of conversation, right. let's say that person's 100% what, a sack of shit. Sack of shit. Yeah. And this could be a liar. This could be... Um, whoever, whatever qualifies like, as a sack whatever, of shit, they are that. Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever they are. They could be a great person, okay. but you expect them to be what they are. It's the same yeah. thing with judging a book by its cover. I mean, oh, the whole expectation. What's the do point of a see, book you, cover? But do you not see the whole point where you're just making you're making an assumption on somebody that actually could be you know, a really good person? What if? Well, that's the relationship. I'm not gonna judge someone like walking down the street because I don't know that man. But like, if I know you, like the relationship, how we can get about, along. You just talked about reading, meeting a random person and saying he's no, a sack of shit. No, no, no. Someone no, at no, work no. being a sack of shit. Oh, you um, mean like too. someone you already know yeah. is a sack of shit? Well, they're already at a relationship if I just met them. But that relationship is I just met them. Yeah, those are two different things. He's saying if somebody actually is a sack of shit and he makes that judgment. He doesn't even have to be thinking. Why is he even like wasting time thinking about these second ship? He already knows it, right? Well, in mm-hmm. a sense, we're like it, action and what they are. You know what I mean? Like, I work with animals, and I feel like I've been I've been taking things that I've learned from training animals to like humans. Is that this horse has only been ridden a couple times, has only been around certain things, and you need to treat them like that. That um, an easier you played sports. You mm. played sport. You, you played, played sport. polo. I don't play polo, no. mm-hmm. but you play polo. I, I mean, yeah, sure. I was just curious, like. I well, lose. what I'm going through is like horse. something that uh, you get a level at. You do you do any kind of art or something that you've done for a long time? You progressed. Mm-hmm. When you're a beginner, you are a beginner. You can't expect yourself to be fucking amazing at it right away. You have to expect what like what it is, you know. Like you're a beginner and treat yourself as a beginner, and like that's like the logical. Not about how you feel, because I feel really shitty when I fuck something up, and then I feel better because I think to myself, well, I've only done this this way so many times, or I start to think of like what is what am I, you know? Like complete logical thinking, just the numbers. How many times have I done this correctly? How many times like. Has someone taught up. me, you know, yeah. like, and you, you don't want to expect too much of yourself, because then you like tear yourself up, you know. And yeah, that's you why sell like, yourself short. You're like, yeah. I didn't reach that. Yeah, and that's like I entertain that idea, because it makes me feel better about life. And if any kind of religion or whatever, yeah, idea, I would. That makes I would, me feel better. Is that it is what it is. The dude abides. The dude you know, abides. Yes, my favorite that's Dudism, man. Yeah, that's, I'm a dudist, dude. You're a dudist, too? Where's the fucking God? I have the articles. No. Dude, Max Piles is a dudist priest. Hang on. 
I did the online survey. I don't know if I ever nice. got the thing. I got my damn certificates for it. Where the <laughs> hell is it? I have a. What do you know? Where my blue folder is. That's a dudeism. Keep talking while I do this shit. Can I go back to something that like Robbie was saying back about like the hive, not like hive mind, but kind of like Collective everybody's conscious. the same person. Collective conscious. I, I've never thought about it that way, just because I've always thought it's so fascinating how like in, even in Mission City, if just I'm sitting at the light and I see somebody drive past me and they look upset, like hmm. we all experience the same day, we just did different shit, you know. So like maybe somebody <laughs> was really pissed that day, but like I had the best day of my life today. Yeah. So, like, I've always kind of, like, thought, like, how fascinating that is. Just so, like, we're all in the same time. It's just everyone experiences that time differently. As so, a, like, yeah, that's really cool. Like, yeah. Every, yeah, it could, it's so yeah, fascinating cool. to think about. And especially in just little instances like that of how, like, literally, somebody cut me off, they just pissed me off for the rest of the day or something. Like, but just maybe, like, maybe, but they're they happy. Just, maybe they just they made just it got to work on time. Be. Exactly. Yeah. Like, exactly. yeah, yeah. So they're like, oh, my day's better. Yeah. What if you're yeah, a yeah, yeah. agent like, saving yeah, the world? Yeah. I mean, how yeah. many movies have you seen where the dude's fucking cutting people off and shit in traffic? But and you're like, like this America, thing. Oh, yeah, like totally. about to go do something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. No, but I mean, yeah, like, that's, right. that's kind of what okay. I believe in. Do you like my, like, dudis, my dudism, my certification? I was checking them all out. I had the bacon thing and shit there, yeah, too. Yeah, minister, I told you. <laughs> Ordained. No, but, you know, I like to think of what you were saying and turn it into a different example. That, um, when you're talking about, like, we're all the, how do you know we're not all the same experiencing just different <clears throat> what we think life is? It's the same thing, like, when we're born, we're like a blank slate. So then we're, everything that becomes our passions, we're our baby. knowledge, our wants, yeah, is just us being either implemented by how our raising is or our environment is. So we're just being imprinted, like, the, whatever our parents is, usually the same thing your parents do, like, Nature you know, nurture. you know, this, yeah, well, you know, the same, you know, the same thing, like, you, you look like your parents, and that's not just genetics, either, that's the same thing, like, if you start hanging around, and you're raised around someone that's maybe not even up, up, he looks, we had this, we had a podcast about yeah, this, because well, I'm adopted, he's adopted, he's my long lost cousin, and it's like, he looks probably more like his family on that side, but he still has same stuff from his actual genetics that comes on to that's our side of the family. Mm -hmm. So it's so like when you grow when you grow the when you grow to look the same as somebody else, like you see those old couples who like die, you know, of old age, but they actually actually look pretty similar. Mm -hmm. It's not being blood. The whole idea of family is thicker than blood. It's kind of like nature versus nurture. Family's more like... than blood because at some point you're actually creating like the same genetic sequences and mirroring certain things so you actually are becoming blood. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like just by being near somebody. So like if we hung out the rest of our lives or whatever and we slowly <laughs> like picked up different features from each other or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and maybe it's not enough to like, you know, do much. It'll but like, like an adaptation but, by right, that you but are. we're actually imprinting a pattern into our deep future <laughs> DNA <laughs> that actually makes Pulling us blood. Out, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Way of explaining it. <laughs> you get the you want to know something wild is that you're not the same person you were like what two years ago. Your body's completely right, yeah. well. Every thirty, 30 days, your body sheds new cells, yeah. and your, I think your it's kidneys, like seven, everything, your body flushes out. You got an axe comprised of two spots. You got an axe handle and you got an axe head. An axe head gets busted, rusty. You replace it. Well, then eventually that axe handle is like busted, and then you replace that. Is it the same fucking axe? In your mind, I, don't know, I guess it's up to you how you choose to view it at well, that like, point. I was just saying, comparing because that's like yeah, a yeah. typical example people yeah. say, and like if you want to compare that to humans, like your body's completely regenerated in two years. And why the fuck are we getting older? It is. Why are well, we getting sick? Why can't we just... Yeah, why do our ears forever? never it's still stop an growing? Axe. So okay. you can say that, though. Still a what? It's still an axe. It might not still be the same axe, but it's still an axe. Held on to that same it's that damn. Yeah. It's that damn spray that's making the frogs gay. <laughs> Robbie's still a Robbie. Fucking GMOs, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Never heard of Alex Jones where he starts screaming about how this stuff that the insecticides are spraying on the crops is making the frogs gay. It's a fucking stupid thing, but he says some smart shit, but he says some dumb shit too. But it's all yeah. interspersed. Yeah. Well, the whole idea, like I'm going back to with the blank slate thing, like when you're a baby and you're just a blank slate. Why? Your characteristics that get developed are a blank slate according to like what idea? Minus what your minus your genetics. You know they they, they, like say, that, they say that they say you're like born sins? In, no like you're born innocent like the same thing like you no, like the, like the Christian you, look. You haven't experienced jack. You're born non-imprinted. 
you're like, not. You are well, you're, like, it's the whole like, thing. You ever know of a blank or... stem cell? Like a blank stem cell? Like people getting stem cell shots and they have to be blank? Mm-hmm. It's because they haven't experienced fucking anything. They haven't lived anything. So like when people talk about late term abortion and doctors use the stem cell research and all yeah. that type of crazy haywire shit. That's all because it's blank. There's nothing there. It's literally complete innocence. It's complete purity in its honest form. Now, who's to say? There's some people out there that believe that when heaven, heaven is that pure form. You're literally, when you're made onto this earth, you're that pure essence of what (coughs) the master, whoever created you. Now, what you're talking about is where we're all experiencing a different life, but we're all the same person. I can believe that. I can believe that we all start off as a blank slate. I mean, makes babies look. That's why they're similar and stuff. But like, I mean, like they kind of look so alike. So, what if there were no rules? What would the blank slate well, still exist? The rules, the only rules that are out there that exist are ones we've created. Right. Mm-hmm. All rules are relative. You go look. You go and there's a guy out there that you talk about people that are like ju- we were talking about just killing, General Butt Naked. Okay, he's an he's an African warlord. He went around, he believed in his culture, and this is all because of how his culture was, where we talk about morals, okay? What's morally right, what's morally wrong is based on the culture or the area we grow up in. So what was morally right for him to grow up in Africa was that he would run around naked into war zones, and he believed that since he was naked, he was impenetrable to bullets. He believed he was literally the devil himself. Now when we look at that, we talk about things of, what do you call it, um... That sounds more like psychosis versus... Well, that's, you know, but in their culture, that's what they would do. Oh, all right, okay. The same thing with the... Like cannibal. Wonderful, Tyler. Thank you. Are you okay now? You better? I can breathe. um, Are you you a little bit sick? I got snot. I don't know if that means I'm sick. Maybe allergies. Maybe. 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 I've been stuck for like months. months. Um, there's There's a Hindu story that, like, I hardly remember most of it, but the gist was... (laughs) <laughs> was like the goddess or the god of de- all demons or whatever had like a moral dilemma because essentially you know it's a demon it's supposed to be like killing and eating people and like doing all this stuff <clears throat> and it was like essentially illustrating like everything has its own path and purpose and like what's wrong to us is right to them right to the, you know what i mean and it's yeah. like it it gets really blurry really quick on what is right what is wrong yeah. But it also helped me, like, realize, you know. That's something I've wondered is, like, how we know we all perceive the same thing. Like, something that I've always thought of is, like, how does somebody that's colorblind know that they're colorblind when they're born? Like, they're not. When they go to elementary school, what we see is orange. They see is, like, green or something Mm -hmm. like that. But they're told that it's the color orange. So, like, how does, like, somebody, like, like you say, like, kind of... You know, associate what like one's morals are like with the. Yeah. Other I got a good example of that because there's a girl in my class that didn't figure <laughs> out she was colorblind until she hit seventh grade, and my teacher told her, and she found out in the middle of class. It was the funniest fucking thing. <laughs> she thought oranges were gray. She thought any color that was orange, it was gray. And <laughs> my teacher tell the difference between orange and gray. Yeah, and my teacher literally said, "What do you think? People just put rocks out on their front steps on Halloween?" And I laughed my fucking ass off because it was the <laughs> Mr. Hancock. I'll never forget no, him saying no. that shit. Yo, have you seen? Have, and I almost did this for a friend. Have you seen those glasses that have come out yeah, recently? Yeah, the, the color. Yeah, have glasses. you seen the videos of like people seeing people putting them on the and they instantly and start crying? Yeah, and they try, like, dude, they I start crying. They, I'm like, oh my god, they, like they, they have to take them off because like they said the colors are too bright sometimes. Like it's because they're getting but so much. Their brain is seen like, processing green so much for information for us. Like when you taste the new food and you're getting an explosion yeah. of flavor, you're like, holy shit, you know, uh, fucking uh, frost, pumpkin spice frosted flakes. Like it's fucking a delight. You know, you're losing your shit. That's what more people need to do. Drugs, honestly, straight up, so, like. Like the psychedelics specifically, uh, yes. uh, it's that's like a big they, thing. It they have to open their, they just have to get more perspective. Everything is better, and I I will like listen and respect somebody <laughs> more if I know that they've gone through certain things because they, I know that they at least have perspective to reach their you decisions. You look at everything differently after acid. It's like totally. kind of like or salvia <laughs> or DMT <laughs> yeah. or, or whatever psychedelics, the right? Yeah. Shrooms. So what? Uh, <laughs> I yeah. said, are reading the Ender's Game series. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that would shit. shit. Yeah. <laughs> read, read, like, Speaker for the Dead, Genocide, Children of Well, how many times have you, like, I, what I wanted to go back to with General Butt Naked was we're all products of our environment. Our morals are all products of our environment. That's the best way we can, cons- everything we've said about today or on this podcast is can brought to, we're all products of our environment. 
He believed what he would do for fun was go with his group of friends, the Butt Brigade, and they would run around Africa, and we think of this as a joke, like some guy that's naked, but he would go, there'd be teens playing by the water in Africa, he would grab them, bring them underwater, and snap their fucking necks. Now you sit, <laughs> now you sit there and wonder, wow, this guy's a piece of shit. He's a product of his environment. We're, okay, just like how we were raised to hunt things and kill things and we slowly evolved, what's the common animal down there that does something like that, that grabs an animal and brings it underwater and snaps its neck or spins? Kangaroos don't swim either. underwater. No, no but they, they'll drown your ass. Mm -hmm. They will literally take your head in a headlock and drown you. They do it to dogs, they do it to people. I didn't know that. Yeah, but yeah. what I was thinking was a, cro seen a crocodile. Dogs a lot. Okay, you think of a crocodile. It sits there, waits for the deer, the antelope to sit by the water and drink, and then it comes up, bites it, goes down, does that fucking spin move, and then puts it in the dirt if it's not hungry or fucking eats it. So that's the same thing he was doing. Gators kill for fun? I didn't know that. Gators a lot of kill. reptiles. Usually, sometimes gators. Yeah, like they like talk the about hunting. the one kid um, that died in. Well, said if he's not hungry, you won't. He it, saves it for later. Like it's that's the like, like, yeah, they can't store it get food because like those antelopes are. <laughs> yeah, they did that in the kid in Florida at the Disney park. The one that got eaten by the alligator. Oh, that was so sad. Yeah, they couldn't find some child that got lost at a park in Florida, like some five-year-old, and it turns out they found... Gatorland? A... That park? I know that they oh, saw a kid get Disney eaten. World. It's one of the things that had gators in it. Gatorland. Yeah, they got rid of those gators Gatorland's a theme park in yeah. Florida. Oh, it's not Gatorland, though. But St. Yeah. Augustine? You're talking about that one? Probably. What okay. I used to live there. I used to live right across from one. You walk Gatorland. into the big fucking gator teeth in the beginning? Yeah. I okay, well, like I'm talking about I'm talking about Disney World it's or Disney. wherever. Yeah, the Disney. You <laughs> know what I'm talking about, right? Thing, well, right? they found the kid's body deep in the mud, and what happened was the alligator or the crocodile, or whatever it was, killed it. Mm -hmm. And then fucking buried it in the mud and was saving it for later. Yeah. He's like, oh, I haven't had one of these in a while. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, it, that's the same thing I'm talking about. Like, they, they, don't, they don't, yeah, they don't have to kill so something when, to only when they're hungry. It, to cope with it, you can acknowledge that I'm in Florida. There are alligators. Okay, well, yes, of course. <laughs> if we they okay. cross the fucking street, there's signs instead of where we see deer signs, they have alligator signs. So you know, <laughs> but everybody our, our still morals, wants to fucking golf, which I don't yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our morals would be really much more relative if there was, and I've thought about this before, and now I kind of feel like talking about an idea I have, which is like, if there was another animal, because right now we view our, we view ourselves differently as a whole. We view ourselves differently from animals. Like, we're not animals. And it's starting to change, but like, mm -hmm. on the, as a whole, we're like, those are animals, we're humans, and we're kind of not really related. But like, if there was another animal on the food chain that was... Sentient? Above us. Yeah. Sentient, but also capable of like, um, culinary arts. Okay? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, this is a filet mignon human. We've aged it, you know, dry, you know, this one's been stuffed up its ass with, like, all the best stuffing we have for Thanksgiving, and you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and, like, I was just thinking, like, how it would be interesting to literally just take all the same shots of what we could see now with, like, the food and meat industry and stuff and just replace it with humans, you know, like, gross. hanging, yeah, it'd be gross and horrifically gory and all these things, <laughs> but, like, it's all part of... Because it's only because we're in a relative box and we're, we're not competing with another yeah, smart species. Yeah, we're like the smartest of like the right food now. chain. So there's nothing else. We're not right even now. in the food chain. But what if we were, we're out of it? What, what if, if we, we were we command the, the food chain? chain. Exactly. Yeah. But what if we were a delicacy to the something just next to us? Killer right? Yeah. What if some alien just comes up and is like, "Oh, humans, sweet. Mm -hmm. Like, let's yeah. destroy this planet too." Like, well, the killer ape theory. They found like they're, they they think it's a certain species that we evolved from, like not just like monkeys, but. We evolved from a certain species of monkeys that became cognizant of being able to adapt to their situation, be able to hunt better, you know, build spears. They found in this cave, I forgot what it's called. It starts with it's a thrower. They, well, they have, like, I, I know what you're talking about. I went to the Smithsonian and they showed the evolution of um, caveman tools and they kind of demonstrated this. They were using as, femurs of animals as Well, like not even clubs necessarily and bones femurs, and but yeah. like they learned. Yeah, they got I mean, they learned stuff, some like, forms yeah. of mechanization technically and lever, you know, lever and they're they're better to hunt and pass. But you would Early notice that the ergonomics to each of their tools changed as the species developed. That's cool. Well, like what you were talking <laughs> their about. Their tools got more. Like, where, so, like, as they got taller and learned to stand better in things, yeah, like yeah, their the spears tools. would get longer. Cool. The grips on, like, a spear thrower itself, it was like a pistol grip. Yeah. But, you know, allowed a cradle for a spear That's for so them dope. to throw That's so smart. towards bison. 
called to like but study see, the tools so you can understand the human better. Is yeah. What so what they did is they started to make the connection, like, oh, this was actually you know, this tall. You know, Anthropolithicus, rather yeah. than Homo sapien. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like they were starting to really notice that you know they're each of these species of monkey are turning into human, and each of these monkeys have tools. Like there's even gangs of you know monkeys and gorillas and orangutans now. Mm-hmm. Like they can sense that it. Or you know, you're not. I mean, they. Well, I like, I like the idea of an, analyzing a handle on a spear just over time. Like here's here's a hundred different spears over a hundred different you know spaces of time. But like the handle goes from here all the way up to here, you know, just mm-hmm. seeing the difference on a, like a tool, like yeah. just how. Especially it's... someone taller made the one. That right. Was taller. Right. Yeah. That's well, what, well. That's what it really yeah, was. Cool. Like as the body changed, the tool changed. The the adapt yeah, you're adapting to like a thing. <coughs> you're all product of your environment. But the whole aspect, like, it's I don't like it's hard to believe that like we don't come from something like that where there's the evolutionary thing. There are people out there that don't believe in evolution at all. There's people out there, obviously, that believe the, the Earth is flat, too. I talk to them on a daily basis. I think not time the Earth, is circular. Not the flat Earth, but the, but the whole evolution thing. A lot of, okay. a lot of well, religions fight evolution, and I'm like, look, you can't. It just it, it doesn't compute anymore. I Maybe you know. could. I but. don't know if he's legit or not. This man is trying to convince me that the world is flat. Yeah, I think he's Are just a... Are you fucking serious? I think, I think he's just a dickhead. <laughs> hey, I, I think he's just a dickhead. You're also a little bit of a dickhead. I yeah, I'm devil's, devil's advocate, advocate. Yeah, yeah. of anyone. For, I try to be fun. devil's advocate, right. and for this fun. guy's a dickhead. Well, the old idea, like, <laughs> the old no, idea. I never look at that. Oh, we just like we're there's certain like there's. It's hard to say that we're all not even animals and everything. We're all not. We don't all don't have similar characteristics in a way because we all have still animalistic tendencies too. Like if you look at monkeys, monkeys get jealous too. I mean, there was that one guy that Dogs gave do. gave one of his friends monkeys a cake like for his birthday, and. All the other monkeys were pissed off that they didn't get a cake. So what they did was they broke out of their enclosure and ripped the guy in fucking pieces. They ripped his fucking dick off. They ripped his fucking arms off. They ripped him to shreds, man. All because he didn't give them all a cake. He hey, gave a certain monkey I wonder a what that You meant. want a piece of this? <laughs> you know, like, because you wonder, like, like the our, whole langu- idea, our language isn't the same as theirs. Yeah, well, you the whole idea, that, like... We you, need Orson Scott Card that series man you want to get on some woke shit because they were dealing with that same stuff with another alien species where deaths were happening but it didn't mean death wasn't it didn't mean the same thing giving cake to a single monkey might have like been the biggest fuck you like ever that could have been we have an example you know, of that with um our president or our former president george bush mm-hmm. where the, pe- the guy oh, threw yeah, the fucking the shoe shoes. at him mm-hmm. that was an insult in erratic culture for them to get hit with the shoe, and you said it was because yeah. you're seeing your shoe as the lowest part, like the lowest thing, oh, yeah. and you're saying you're lower than that. I didn't see that. I just saw him throwing a shoe and was like, well, you just lost a fucking nice pair of loafers. Sorry, man. I just got the biggest diss ever. And if yeah. it would have hit him, like, in the face, oh, my word. <laughs> it would have been, like, <coughs> like epic for years to come. Same thing, you know Romeo I mean? like, and Juliet. You bite the thumb and then flick it like that, and it's flicking somebody uh, off. Why is this I, I, our I, I, fuck you, and then someone else is just kicking them in the balls? That's funny. Shit. Somebody just brought that up today. We're all thinking the same shit. Everyone in the yeah, world is on the same same Dude, I'm shit. I'm telling you, you guys are all in my head. Oh, oh, with the glove thing. Okay, all right. One thing that helps me visualize a little better, I should have said, is like, you know those science labs that like they have the boxes Mm -hmm. and that's what they have the gloves attached to? It's like that. Like this is the world. Orchestrating in that. And like, like the person, you know, it's Mm -hmm. just one person, but we're all, you know, just, it's just looking inside. And we're all just inside the I box. I feel like I well, took a tab of acid and I'm listening well, to like Morgan so like, Freeman trying to talk me down from a ledge while at the same time I'm driving the fucking car, the DeLorean from back to the <laughs> in through a fucking highway filled with nylon cat as my passenger going into <laughs> space. That's literally what my... I couldn't even repeat everything I just said, but well, luckily, that's yeah, what I fucking guess. feel because... Don't <laughs> drink those cream sodas. <laughs> yeah, there's fucking something good in them. New World Order. You will shit though. They have potassium in it for some reason. <laughs> no, but like back to like what you were saying, kind of. It's like kind of like the Rick and Morty thing, where like uh, Rick makes like his car battery is a universe, <laughs> like inside there. I haven't seen that episode. No? Yeah, there's a universe inside yeah, that universe, and then the, and it's there's a scientist this, yeah. in that universe that makes his own mini universe, and that's going to power their world. I do believe this is like, recursive. Uh, exactly. Like that, yeah. So how do we know that we're on not just like some dude playing Sims? 
Um, no. <coughs> do you, I, I if someone about, can make me fucking no. like I've thought about how hours I've, that'd be awesome. I've <laughs> learned like I'm my own since I'm a programmer and mm-hmm. I'm not that good at one, but like <laughs> I've thought I've thought many times, what if I am in my own simulation that like I made when I'm seventy or whatever, sure. you know what I mean? Uh-huh. And then like beyond that, like what you just said, I feel like everything is so recursive into infinity. Uh-huh. So besides like everything that's ever that could ever happen has happened and will happen, uh-huh. whatever. Yeah. Like Not it's constantly going. It's constantly creating new ones it's, and new ones down and down and down. It's literally the whole idea of religion. Like we're just we're just trying to you can't put a reason on life, man. We're trying to hold balance. We're like, trying to... If, we're if, so if you've noticed, we like, I, I noticed that you dabble in Hinduism a little bit. A little I, bit. Yeah, so, like, I, I like the Hindu <coughs> Buddhist culture a lot. And, you know, across all sectors of religion, there's, like, a sense of good and evil, yin and yang. Mm-hmm. But the, it, the key is balance. Which and, is why you have the two dots in the yin and yang. Yeah. It, like, it's, it's... Because there's a little bit of good in the bad and a little bit of bad in the good. Okay, this 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 is very pointed. Yes, like so you so basically like with the balance held, like you'll see that there's also like the drive to better, you know, in most religions, like mm-hmm. to reach a good result, like you want to you know keep doing good things. Like Hinduism, it's each reincarnation you're something better, um, depending mm-hmm. on your acts and that like. Buddhism yeah. is enlightenment, and Christianity is sanctifying for salvation. Uh, yeah, and like a, a, a meta, well, not a metaphorical, but a foreseen heaven. Mm-hmm. Um, but you still, know. you want to become a better person, do good, yeah. like, do good works and things like that. And it's, you know, I've seen that, like, you know, we were talking about how there's not a lot of, um, you know, or you see that there's a lot of, like, just killings, but there's also, like, you feel that there's an imbalance and that you feel things never come back, like... No matter what, like, there's always that energy put out by people that kind of holds the balance of the universe. Like, you know, that's why we're provocated to do things. That's why when, you know, we talked about it before, when you don't feel love, you start to feel the feeling of hate is merely a something of self-defense and to kind of offset whatever negative tendencies might come from that subject. Yeah, I found I was playing kind of devil's advocate with Tyler at first. Like I, I do, I do think there is a cosmic balance to the world. Like you know, there is there is an end result in everything. And just because you get off this life scot free doesn't mean it. if there is an extra life out there or another life out there, you get off in that one. You yeah. know what I mean, mm-hmm. when does so, the event happen? What do you mean? Like, like the event of which reality like, starts? Of collapse or? Well, like like who's to say? Like when does the person? Like dead, you know. So like, I think you like, really, different, if like you could different, different when, rules you know what I have a thing on. I do want to say one thing before we and all. Like, yeah. like you say, uh, I believe that you know, like when we die, like I believe that your soul or whatever the hell that goes out of your body, like if we have a soul, whatever your essence, mm-hmm. when you go, it's the same representation. Of, you're just you're you're on another frequency. You're uh-huh. just you're you're on another frequency. <laughs> That's why I would never want to be cremated because I believe. If you get your body fucking cremated when you die on this existence, mm-hmm. that after sphere gets is, is just ash. You're fucking mm-hmm. floating around for the rest of your life mm-hmm. with ash. I believe when you fully like the same thing with ghosts that deteriorate. That whole idea of that is based on as their body decomposes on Earth, their spirit slowly decomposes and follows the same action as their body. They're just on a whole other relative plane where no one can see them. So I believe your soul stays just like your. You know, people think of this as like a vehicle. Yeah, shell. How am I supposed to know that if I die and I'm up in heaven, like, holy fucking shit, this is awesome. There's the Backstreet Boys and there's everybody like doing the shit. Mm -hmm. And, you know, then someone decides to throw me in a crematory and I'm sitting there and I randomly spontaneously catch on fire like, fuck, fuck, fuck. And just how am I supposed to know that's not real? That scares Mm -hmm. the shit out of me. I don't fucking know. I don't know what's going to happen after this life think, is over with. But that's why people have faith. That's why people have a belief in something. But you do? You like you believe that you have a soul that keeps going or something, in essence. I believe that if there's a fucking beer volcano filled with strippers, then I'm 100% down with pasta farianism. I'm open to all realms of right, interpretation. Right. I'm open if we to fucking anything. die and next thing I know I'm a marshmallow in a bowl of Lucky Charms, I don't give a shit. If the whole idea is... I'm here on this earth now, or where I feel like this what is what life is, 
And I'm trying to experience it in my own way, much like you're trying to experience it in your own ways. You all probably don't want to start podcasts. You don't want to do what I want to fucking do. I'm not going to make you guys do it. Nor the vice though versa. I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be against it if you guys did do one. That would mm. be awesome. Do what you want to fucking do. And the fact that we wake up every single day, everyone in this earth wakes up every single fucking day and goes out and does shit and complains about it and doesn't want to make a change in their goddamn life. I'm a victim of it too. I hate my fucking job. I hate a lot of shit. You know what? But I fucking do it because I feel like I have to. And just like he was saying in the beginning where he lives out of a fucking van and starts saying, you can do it. You can fucking get up and go. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I don't know why it's taking me this long to fucking realize it now. So mm-hmm. it's the whole aspect of like, sometimes you need to be someone else to come in with a whole nother point inside of you totally. or something that you're going to find resonance with. You're going to be able to fucking connect to. You mm-hmm. know what? Or offer Fuck it, dude. I'm going to go to the casino. I'm going to bet $500 and we're going to start a fucking burrito bar mm-hmm. with all my fucking winnings. If I don't mm-hmm. make shit, then I'm going to keep playing until we fucking get it. Hey, <laughs> I'm going to fund your ass so you can get the schooling you fucking need to start building <laughs> me some plants that have fucking <laughs> titties on them. <laughs> you... You live in a fucking van? Let's start a goddamn van rental drive through like Sonic. I've never been to fucking Sonic before. Let's fucking go. <laughs> hey, the first place you'd go. Like, Sonic. the whole idea is, fuck it. Why are we so willing to just not give a shit about someone else and just take the time? If you, like, some people out there would just want to help the world. Fucking do you, man. That helps the fucking world as long as you're not destructive in the process or fucking anybody over. You know, what's so hard with helping somebody open up a door saying good morning to somebody in the morning that we're just so completely obvious, not like we just fucking ignore. Yo, you know, I know it's weird because this has happened to me like really recently, but it's this has happened repeatedly. Sorry, just because you said the opening the door. Okay, I usually like because my parents, this is a nurture thing. My parents, you know, always have me opening the door for for like ladies or whatever so so i i did this just today and like these two women like stopped like like somebody hadn't opened a door for them for like fucking 40 years they're like oh my goodness like that was so kind of you like (coughs) you know your parents raised you well like what a gentleman i'm like like it was just it was so odd how they reacted so hard that i was like but this things like that has happened before where i'm like what the fuck happened like why how did that change and why and well, you there's know? like a, a like a shift in cultural yeah. norms too like I, I don't know i mean i i have tried or i try to be nice to people and sometimes i just stay quiet yeah because you know you don't really know how you're going to be perceived by people That's i mean true. like i do like a lot of driving like from here to school and like where i go to school you know everybody's uh, different than me culturally like they're from the city i am from a farm Mm -hmm. like my interpretation of nice to them is something you know they've never seen before something they've never been around Mm -hmm. and it just you know and vice versa you know but it's just like that oh like you know you hold the door because blah blah blah. and then you know where they're from the city it's like well if you hold the door you're gonna get stuck holding the door all day and yeah for instance okay yes ma'am i learned yes ma'am in florida it was like it was like a necessary thing to just be appropriate so i i would do that from an old lady to like a three-year-old girl i'd be like yes ma'am you know whatever it is like yes ma'am and then once i left the south and came like i went it was like colorado i said i said that it only took like three reactions of women being like don't say yes ma'am to me i feel like like they would have different reactions of why like I you making me feel old or this and that, but like yeah. it was like it totally went the opposite direction of being like okay I'm just don't even say it you're pissing people off mm. yeah ultimately so it's all relative God bless yeah. you it does not mean what you think it means yeah right I also, I also right. don't agree with atheists God bless those northerners well I also don't agree with, I don't I don't agree with atheists that get offended when someone says God bless you you'd be like oh you believe in God and they have to go to that whole aspect I don't believe in it's like. I just said something because I'm trying to be what I was taught was was nice. Right. I was trying to be what I was raised on to add manners. Yeah. You know like, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I don't get offended if somebody says that. I like still say someone, Jesus. Yeah. yeah, it's the same thing with in uh, China. Knocking on people's doors. Have you ever noticed around. a person that's actually from China or from some region out there, like in that Asian culture, right. when they bump into you and they don't even complete, they don't even recognize that they did it. They just keep on fucking going. And you think of that as rude. That is a common thing down there. There's so many fucking people down there that they will walk through a child. 
child. They don't care. They don't, it's not that they're being disrespectful. Is that's what they have to do. They're in a heavy populated area. They bump into each other. They can't sit there and go, oh, sorry, eh? Would you like a powder jetty? Like, you can't do the... the, the God. They can't... Fuck, an egg. <laughs> They can't do the like. They can't do the the Canadian thing. Well, like the whole aspect, like you know, it's. <laughs> no, that's kind of like, something like that happened to me today. Like I was, I, I was started curdled a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I went to World Farms to lunch today, I'm and uh, on my way out, like I held the door for myself. Obviously, I opened the door. I saw there were three women <laughs> walking behind me. Well, so I thought, you know what? They're like ten feet away. I might as well hold it. I hold the door open. Of the three women, only one of them said thank you. And it was the very first woman. The other two didn't even bother to look me in the fucking eye. Yeah. And, like, it, it bothered me. You didn't say something? Time. I would have said No, I just... Usually when I... I obnoxiously said, you're welcome. Yeah, that's what I did. That's yeah. what I did. I said, no, you're, you're fucking welcome. Huh? No, you're hmm. a dick. Yeah, I'm the dick for holding the door open for them. You see? But, like... I don't know. Just the way that people in respect for Seth that numbers pretty well. What does it do? It's, like, 24-hour... Does it stop it or does like it... if you if it's because of allergies that you have a stuffy nose that will definitely help for like I'm, I'm a just day. Gonna do it and trust you. Uh, no, you want to actually put that bag on. Put that bag on. You just yeah. broke it. You're not using these things. That yeah, doesn't actually go. go in your nose. That goes in your ass. I can do it. Can <laughs> <laughs> it? So what? Do I just like yeah, one in each. Yep. It's just flowing. And him. Was I supposed to? Oh, yeah. It up already. I put my nose on it with like I did not mean to do that, but I did you're, put my nose on it. You're good. Yeah, I wiped it off. I wiped it off again. That'd okay. Cool, cool. He's new to these things. He's new. We all learn. He's day, experiencing right? something new. That's in a little fun. You never know where it's gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Drugs. I ain't know what a cream soda's like. <laughs> yeah, dude, I feel like I want to go get a cream soda. Yeah, do you want a cream soda no, to I'm try? Really I'm telling you, it's fucking good. Uh, He's liked it, so that was yeah, the first time drinking one. This one? Yeah. This it would be good with alcoholic beverage. <coughs> Drunky. No. Mm-hmm. But the whole aspect, like... Alcohol we, enthusiasts. We all become, like, we're all now kind of like where this podcast started kind of like everyone like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's like, we're all on the, like, after sitting there and actually talking it out, we've actually all kind of realized, like, okay, I understand where your train of thought is and where you're thinking of. This is the biggest problem we face in society today with government issues. You understand that, right? Like our government, mm-hmm. everyone's so fucking divided because no one's taking the willing the time to sit in a room and lash it the fuck out. Mm-hmm. We're sitting here like everyone's just shouting at each other and no one's letting someone else talk. Where we sit here and we let people talk, even though there are some things that want to be said by two other people like, you know, Jose and Wade here. Mm-hmm. And then we're kind of being the main voices, me, Corey, and Tyler here, just kind of going back ears. and forth. But it's like the whole aspect of Nobody's turned off here to not listening to anybody. We're all open into your thoughts. Can I throw my opinion on something? Go fucking ahead. I just it, said that. It reminded me of when you said, called Wade a, a drunkie. <coughs> uh, well, I called him an alcohol enthusiast. I, did you notice that? I did. I did. Well, I, <laughs> it bothers me that people say drugs and alcohol, if that makes sense. Because, like, alcohol is totally a drug. And mm. it fucks you up way more than other drugs. Mm-hmm. It's I beneficial like. and it's also True. not beneficial. Yeah. True. So. So like, why are you why why are you saying it's not as bad? Yeah, as a drug? why is yeah. it why is it something separate? It's still a drug, except you can do it legally. It's like you know? it's liquid drug. Exactly. It's because we can make a profit off of it too. Well, I mean, you could say the same thing about pot. You know, you can like, say the same thing about any. Drug. It's because that's how any that's the intent. Drugs. Drugs. What is it? That's the story they want to uh, be driven. <laughs> yeah, they 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 because like. They. Obviously, views now are changing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you know the yeah, prohibition, the prohibition of alcohol. Like uh, that didn't fucking last long. Not the at all. It made people was, want to drink pe- more. Oh, people are like, no, are legalized, fuck you. I think, like, in, in Denver. Denver. Uh-huh. They're de- de- decriminalized. Decriminalized. Uh-huh. Yeah. The whole thing. idea, you start, yeah. you start uh-huh. being a, a powerful force and authoritative that starts telling someone they can't do something. <laughs> fuck you, I'm gonna do it. Uh-huh. It's the same thing. Like when you talk to me, you have to talk to me with a level of respect. You can't talk to me and force me to do things because then I'm not gonna want to fucking do it. You think me telling you, hey, you need to go do this, you're gonna be like, I'm not really interested in doing that. But then I say, hey, can you do this? It's for more. Me? What can we do together? What can we accomplish yeah. rather than what can you? If you change the the way you're out looking on life. You change the out way you're looking on anything, or out you just the way you're saying something. You can get a whole different outcome than what. Oh, dude, sometimes. the bosses at work. Okay, so like <coughs> this, the guy who owns this business at this restaurant. He he's probably in his late seventies. Okay, he's got plenty of businesses, other 
like buildings and businesses and restaurants. He has no need to even be there, right? He like he can just pay other people to run this stuff. He's there, and he's I've seen him do almost every job, like from sweeping the floors to dishes to making some food to just clear clearing off a table, like. He's doing all those things, and, like, it's so beyond obvious he never has to ever be there at all. That's the kind but of he's a leader. And that's how yeah. he shows you what to do. Mm-hmm. He's not telling you what to do. He's showing you what to do, and you're like, oh, shit, boss is doing that. I should have been doing that, and then mm-hmm. you, it'll never happen again. You know what I mean? Like, I'm all about that's that. the way to do it. Mm-hmm. To just be it. Like, to be the change you want to yeah. see type of, you know. Like, from a martial arts standpoint, like, I uh, train jujitsu, and it's like... With Mike Otwell. It's like, I don't tell me, like, you can do this. Fucking show You fucking me. met Eddie Bravo, dude. Yeah. That's why you're a flat fucking earther, you son of a bitch. Although, at some point with jujitsu, those dudes get old. They can't do that, and... Because they are what they are. So they gotta tell you. Well, it's the same you. thing. Uh, it's why they, well, I'm a gym person. I talk to bodybuilders who experience <laughs> like they're they're at an elderly age they now, and they anymore. don't look like how they used to. Arnold doesn't. He talks about it too. He doesn't look like he used to. He doesn't have the same body anymore. He said it's a depressive toll on his mind constantly. Being yeah, able but to look in the mirror. Ate a drop kick the other day at a charity event. Oh yeah, and, and he said just like shrugged right. it off. Yeah, Wait, like, what happened? What, well, like he what, thought somebody. So like somebody was trying to like get Arnold's attention at this charity event. And, like, you know, Arnold was just, you know, taking pictures, talking to the people he was engaging with. Snapchat. So the guy, like, kind of runs back and tries to drop kick Arnie. So Arnold, he just kind of, you know, takes a little one-two step You don't fuck with the Terminator. No well, he just kind of turned around and he said, no, I thought somebody was, like, just jostling. Yeah, yeah. It's a yeah, that, that, that post. Meanwhile, he's just, you know, yeah. a tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Arnold posted, face. like, on Twitter or something. Jeez. He's like, dude, he... He's lucky he didn't mess up my Snapchat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah hilarious. that's exactly what I was thinking of. I just couldn't <coughs> get it up. Look up this fucking video. No, it was pretty wild. Well, the whole aspect, like you know, we're you gotta. I, it's just it's. I mean, I, we've all kind of came to a conclusion here on it. Good catch. You're trying to fucking kill me with my phone cables, aren't you? No, but he caught it halfway. Which He's like Spider Man. On the end, he didn't. Without the hype, damn it. He is okay. Well, like the whole aspect, like we all had different kind of outlooks on everything that we're all kind of coming coming down to a basis. I mean, it is what it is. Man. Yeah, the dude abides, dude. It's the best way we can really like focus in on this. Like, I'm not gonna fuck with anybody. I'm not gonna try and change somebody else. I'm gonna do what I have to do in my life to make to feel where I'm at a right place. You know what I mean? Right. And just because someone else is, in my view, not in the right places, it doesn't mean I'm going to judge them or try and change them. I'm going to let them figure out what they have to do to get yeah. what yeah, they All you can to. do is show them what to do if you're going to do it at all. Otherwise, telling them what to do isn't going to do anything. Like, the main thing, I think, like, when a friend asks me advice, I'm like, what do you think you should be doing? And they just, like, you know, they, they said, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. be like, well, if... if, <laughs> if, if asking you, dude. Well, it's like, <laughs> if I was in your position... <laughs> I would just, you know, do this. And, like, you don't have to, like, the same thing when I have friends come on here and they just really want to talk and, like, kind of let off some steam and stuff. I'm like, I'm not down. Like, I, I want to be a therapist. And the only main reason is because my buddy's mom is, like, a real therapist. She right. sits there. Like, if she can't help you after two sessions, she's like, I can recommend you to this person, but I can't help you anymore because we're not getting anywhere. Right. I, I can't, I don't feel like I have the tools for the job. You right. know, if you don't feel like you have the tools for a certain thing, you don't want to keep doing that. If you don't have a passion to build furniture, don't build fucking furniture. Right. Just because you're good at it, I understand that's a good way to get money or do something like that, but why fucking do it if it's making you miserable, even though you're fucking good at it? I'd rather do the something I'm completely terrible at, like podcasting, and enjoy but life. enjoy the fucking shit out of it. Right. I really feel good when Wade or Jose or Corey or someone that I podcast with hopefully you that will just come and be like I had a great time man yeah. thank you for that I'm like yeah. I'm glad I don't want it, it. everything that we have is just a conversation I can't get that out any more than I've tried to explain it on my podcast mm-hmm. before people think it's a lined up interview or think it's something like I'm going to ask you a million questions and try and 
get your views out so people look at you as a piece of shit. I want you to tell me your experiences, your stories, where the fuck you came from. What's your aspect on life? Right. How do you think about life? Let's talk about shit. Like, right. let's let's turn off the fucking cell phones or shut it off. Like, put it down, put it on silent, whatever you have to do. Try not to look at it. Yeah, I have friends that could sit in here. I can hear it buzzing. I'll fucking lock your shit in a drawer, dude, until mm-hmm. we're done, man. It's the whole aspect of I won't do these over the phone. I won't do these over the computer because we're missing the real basis of the conversation. That shit you get at 3 a.m. where you're drunk as fuck hanging out by the bonfires with your friends. You don't remember what the hell you guys were arguing about, but you wake up with a black guy and a broken foot and you remember you had a great fucking time. And something happened during that middle of that night where you had a conversation with one of your best friends or something that you're going to remember for the rest of your life being, I always have his fucking back and that's why I love him. You know, that's where we talk about alcohol. Alcohol is a good thing and a bad thing. It's a bad thing when you drink too much of it, but there's a reason why you have a blackout, you have a shut off it's because your brain bad. will stop you from reaching a level where it's like, I'm shutting off the fucking lights. I'll leave mm-hmm. the dick on. You're good to go. That's <laughs> that whole aspect of that. But the whole Just lock I, up when you're done. Yeah, <laughs> just fucking, you know, dust out everything. But it's like, <laughs> it's the whole aspect. Like we're, when you go to a restaurant and you're hanging out with your friends and you're enjoying a meal, you're just talking about random bullshit. That's what I want is the bullshit. I want that because sometimes that's the real conversation. When you talk about a drunk mind speaks sober thoughts, that's mm-hmm. fucking real, man. Because it sometimes it takes certain people to take a drink, take a swig, to get them to that open point. That's why I say it's also a benefit of alcohol. You know? Yeah. It's, it's I a see social people sing better on certain things and like like you see people more people do karaoke when they're drunk than not, and that's because they're drunk. What it, it helps your inhib- <laughs> it helps lower your inhibitions, yeah. you know, and like well, the first thing it's they a tool is in that. What's a good idea? And that's why shamanism is a thing yeah, because shit you're, looks you're using you're something drunk. as a tool to like further, you know, themselves. What's not a tool? Hmm. What's Indeed, not a tool? I'm still Indeed. On, I'm still on like Indeed. it is what it is, like alcohol. Certain things will happen if you drink certain amounts of quantity of alcohol. The okay. first thing that goes is your idea of what's a good idea. You know, wow. that's like when you're buzzed, when you just had a couple of drinks, that's the thing that goes first. Is your idea of what's good? Of, what's a good idea? What I think is a good idea. Well, that's you there's know? what's the the t- it's two possible outcomes. One um. The one just because one out like okay so we got driver A and driver B. Driver A drives home drunk. Driver B drives home drunk. Driver A gets home safe. Okay, bam. That's what he did was still fucked up, but that's he's Why is seen, he fucked up. He's because well, he, against the law you're technically people. not supposed to drive when you're impaired. Well, according to the law, they let rapers go. Yeah, well, that's true too. So it's obviously like we're talking about morals. Do you think someone is morally right for being able to drive when they know that they're not at a state that's completely functional? I didn't say that. Well, how about this? Okay, a moral well, machine. That's 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 responsibility for yeah. that person. That's exactly okay. So then, what if there's only two lanes and you either you're either going to hit a child or you're going to hit women? <clears throat> yeah. Well, what, like I said before, driver B does the yeah. same exact thing when he leaves the bar, dr- drinks his driver A, but on his way home decides and kills a kid. And then now he was seen as morally unlucky. That's the idea of moral luck. Now the whole aspect of they both had the same event and had two different possible outcomes. Well, you that, can take there's that some two- other variables not being said. Like if I have like, you know, a couple beers and my cognitive function and I think is the second thing and then you like the third thing is when you lose motor function and that's when you're fucking blacking out and shit and not remembering stuff well you're not able to drive driving into the influences when you're cognitively impaired so. if you buzz driving is drunk driving according to the law if you yeah. have one beer and fucking go out and like, that's why they set a taco bell at 2 a.m. in west ocean city because yeah. that's the spot because what the fuck are you trying to eat at two o'clock in the morning when you're drunk something greasy Usually it's a taco. Fuck it. You know, who cares about someone's loved ones? I want a fucking taco. You're going to go out and drive. You know? I mean, has anybody experienced, like, I think I'm okay to drive home and you're taking that walk to the car when you know you probably shouldn't and then everyone's grabbing onto you? Like, no, don't go out there. You feel like you're fucking famous. Like, no flash photography. Like, people are grabbing onto your shirt, screaming at you, stay back. All the time, man. No pictures. Like That whole whole idea. (laughs) You're going to bed at your house. No, I'm not. Yeah, you get in your car and you're fucking I've been, home. I've been in the car under the <laughs> You cheater. Many, 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 many. Cheating. 
I don't think I like, think I'm responsible. I think it's up to me, and I know I trust myself to be responsible enough to know that I cannot drive, so I will not drive. There you go. You well, some people don't yeah, have that. That's yeah, the same thing. So that's why control. I'm not against the law because I think the law is good because you. Can't I'm not against it either. Right. That's like. There's <laughs> no space here. I'm like trying to like relieve like pressure from my head, but. Uh, <laughs> He's like Marijuana, I said, the if podcast you are high and driving, you will get booked or with yeah. um, driving under the influence, high on marijuana. Now, there are different people and it affects them differently in yeah. quantities and stuff. So, Fucking blaze driving all the time. Hell, you stop at a stop sign and wait for it to turn green, so I uh, don't yeah. complain. If anything, that. it's more dangerous the act of smoking. Like, if you're fucking driving with your knee trying to hit a bowl, you might hit someone. Yeah. Texting is above all well, the like, most dangerous thing. Like we talk about the stigma of drugs. Like, okay, alcohol is not a stigma drug, even though it has way mm. worse effects than marijuana. But we mm. talk about alcohol in a good way being a social lubricant. Mm. But, seeing, I mean, but hold on, the, another. Pers- this is what I wanted to talk about before I forgot when he was saying. When you talk about <coughs> another sort of experience or another thing, why can I? judge someone for smoking pot and saying it's a bad drug if i'm not saying i do but i'm saying someone that does say that when they haven't experienced that before who's to say that you might like that experience better you know what i mean yeah i can only respect somebody's opinion on like things like that if they've done those things before yeah i'm not going to judge someone that's tried cocaine and say cocaine's bad for you because i've never tried coke Hell, Crocodiles I might co- get well, there. cocaine, there's actually evidence that, you know, cocaine expands your gen- dendrites in your brain. But that, you know, might not necessarily be a good but thing. Sounds like but also deteriorates your nasal cavity. Yeah, have you seen running. Artie Lang? Artie Lang yeah. doesn't have a nose anymore because of cocaine. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't dude, mean it's dead, but it doesn't mean it's any smarter. Again, right. just do it out it's just watching the yeah, absolute adverse Sorry, effects. Dude, if he let one rip in here right now, though, we wouldn't be in here for, like, 20 minutes. So, it's like... like fart? Yeah. Oh, man. So, at least it's only taking in, like, two seconds. Right. What are you talking about? <coughs> his, you weren't you saying because of his nose? Yeah. Yeah. What are you talking about before? You said we'd have to leave. You said you'd have to leave if you, like, did that again. I'm saying we'd really no, have I to leave. I said if you could take it out to, like, the fucking hall so I don't hear... <laughs> I'm saying we'd be out in the hall for 20 minutes. I'm not judging him. I mean, I understand he's, like, not feeling too. No, you're cool, man. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm glad that we all sat down and got to really shoot the shit and talk about it. And I see that Jose had to get on the fucking floor <laughs> yeah. because oh, yeah. everyone's so damn spread out on the couch now. It's a comfy cooch. It's a, it cute. a, a comfy cooch. cooch. I'm glad. <laughs> it's, it's just the whole thing. Like, I'm glad that we all have different <laughs> thoughts and opinions on life, dude. And even though if we don't come down to an agreement on some things, I think we basically did in the podcast. I mean, we all kind of came to a conclusion on something. I mean, whatever you believe is just based on how you were raised or how you've just been influenced through life. So you can't judge anybody. It's like the same thing. You can't judge a book by its cover. I can't judge someone for their thoughts or trying to change their thoughts just because it's not in line with my own. But, you know, so many people in the world do that today. But it's it's okay to disagree. Yeah. I mean, if we don't come to a conclusion to things, that's fine. It's not going to stop me from liking you. It's not going to stop me from... You know, doing whatever I'm going to do to think, well, in my mind's right. I mean, agreeing and disagreeing. Yeah, yeah, shit. I'm still waiting for Jose to open up his burrito bar. Do you actually want to do that? I would. Because <laughs> totally I'm serious. Would. Like, I'm, I'm uh-huh. down to fucking spend $500 at uh-huh. the casino right now. Mm-hmm. Just make a couple I gambled once, dollars. and I swear to God, I got the fucking... Yeah, but you didn't come out in the profit, so... No, I didn't. I lost, actually. Actually, I made... I have a receipt for 69 cents that nice. I'm keeping. I don't want to cash that. Mm. How, do, how do you ever just get 69 cents you don't that's why you keep it exactly mm. well thanks for being on the podcast guys I'm not, I don't, honestly sure don't know nice what driving. the fucking call it to be because we had homies. we Out had blank. Tyler been a homie for a long time <laughs> well homegrown homies part 2 with what like we gotta we gotta yeah. give it a new Jeffrey name. Jeffrey talked about rel- like what relativism. Why we gotta give it a new name, man? Because we got four pe- four people and me, so five. But it's all like, right. Out of the blank, return of the Tennessee Titans. Oh snap! That was a fucking good pullout one. I like that. This was theater. Out. This was four years of theater in high school. I have all kinds of. I'm thinking like in here. conspiracy of the world or some shit. Like some. I'm part. thinking some universe shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Something we started off talking about with... bands and van life, and ten minutes later we we're talking about how like everyone's the same person. 
<laughs> like, right, it's like <laughs> relativism and consciousness. And I got it. Drugs. The Drugs. van of relativity. Relativity. The van of relativity. There you go. All right. Do you call your van Scarlett Johansson? No. Do you call it morally wrong? I used to call it Mini, uh, mini Mouse, but it's really my fucking spaceship, man. That's what, that's, what, the that's what my yeah. podcast is. Is a spaceship. Okay. Because I'm literally traveling into all your yeah. fucking minds. I'm telling you, mm. we're all the same person. We're all saying the same shit. We're all the same energy. Well, if you're just yourself same, talking to yourself, if we're all the same lifetime. person, can it's I get a shirt I'm like that? Get bored, it's a waste. Honestly, like, I'm bored. Like, I checked out, bro. Yeah, like I was like, yeah, like I see you. <laughs> right. It's like, yeah, huh? like, like I know what this is. That's yeah, the thing yeah, I was yeah. about to say. Is this Avatar? I see into yep. you. Yeah, I see, I see you. Mm-hmm. Nadi. Well, thanks for listening to this episode of Out of the Blank and anyone that actually listens more than 10 minutes in. We appreciate the time.